Welcome to another quick bite session at a lunchtime with Susanna Louise. This is the diamond painting that you kindly chose in the survey recently that you wanted to see diamond painted. So I've already kitted up, which I did at home last night for speed. And as you can see, all of the lovely colours in the box here ready for me to diamond paint. But before I can do that, this diamond painting will need to be flattened as it's been rolled up in its protective cover. So if I open this out, of course, at work, I don't have a mattress, funnily enough. So I'll have to do the next best thing under my desk. I have a nice shaggy rug, so I will have to pop the diamond painting underneath it and see if it will flatten out ready for the next time that I'm getting my diamond painting out. Okay, I'm going to get started on the iris picture today. Unfortunately, I forgot my camera stand, so I am going to get the diamond painting from beneath my desk where I tucked it under my rug to flatten it, seeing as though I didn't have a mattress at work, <laughs> funnily enough. So here is the picture. I mean, it's flat enough, it's okay. So I'm going to get started on it today and then I promise we'll do a follow-up video once I've got the camera stand because Louise refuses to stand here and hold my phone for me. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> So on a lunchtime, since my picture went under the rug, I've been working on it throughout a lunchtime. You can see we've got some lovely colours laid down now with one section left to go in this corner, which I won't be doing today because today we're going to catch up with Louise and see how she's getting on with her diamond painting. Louise, hi. Hello. Okay. Another lunchtime working on your diamond painting. Hello, another another lunchtime. Yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. Right. Things to catch up on with Louise. We have updated the toolkit. I am using the multiplacer, although I've accidentally picked up yeah, that too was many quite there. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock some off. And how are you finding it? I'm finding it okay. Um I do find that Sometimes I have to just sort of do a little bit of a readjustment with the end. I actually find it easier to place them vertically rather than horizontally. I feel like I get them in position more when I place them horizontally. Sometimes they're just too high or too low. But mm. I seem to be better the other way on. So I don't know if that's a thing or not, but that's my way of working at the moment anyway. Yeah, if it works for you, that's good. Yeah. And when you first got the multi-place then, because if you remember from the last lunchtime video, I was trying to encourage, shall we say, Louise to start multi-placing because she was worried about how much time it would take to do her diamond painting before Christmas. And the very first time you used it, what did you think? Um, I thought it was a bit awkward because like I just did there, I kept pick, picking up extra bits and because I was placing horizontally, they just weren't sitting right for me, but they do seem to sit better um, the other way on. So that's my way of working now and it's working for me. Um, like I said, I do need a little adjustment, but so far so good. And it has helped because I'm a lot further on than I think I would have been if I wasn't using it. Yeah. So I'm quite happy with it, especially for the, all these like blocked sections. Um, it's speeding things up. Yeah. And we also upgraded the tray from a green tray to the white funnel tray. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better for um, popping them back back into the um, pots when I'm finished. Yeah. If I'm switching colours. Did you notice any difference with how the diamonds laid in the tray or not? Um, I found, yeah, I found it easier doing the little shake and tap <laughs> for the for getting them all lined up. They, it just didn't seem to work in the green tray. The only thing I do have occasionally is because there's obviously a hole in the end, I um, I find myself losing more of my diamonds out the other end, like there's one there actually. Right. Fact, oh, there's a couple. You mean the tip off? Tip yeah, they, they tip out, um, which obviously I wasn't having before. But other than that, we're, uh, we're doing okay. Yeah, I tend to... Um... When I diamond paint out, you can get the trays with the stoppers, by the way. I, like Diamond Art Club, have now provided stoppers for the, the trays that they're providing. I don't tend to use them, though. But when I'm diamond painting, 
and I put my finger over the end of the tray. Right, okay. But sometimes then you get a bit of a sore finger end because you're pushing the funnel into your finger. Right. But it is a way of stopping the diamonds falling out the other end. Okay. So it becomes a big issue, yeah, which it might yeah, not. I suppose so. I can try that, yes, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I think that I'm getting I'm getting there. Um obviously the deadline is looming. Yes. But I have been doing some at home and getting yes. in more than twenty minutes and I found myself sitting there for about two and a half hours saying, Right, I'm gonna finish this bit and then I'm gonna go to bed. No, I'll just quickly do this bit. Oh no, I'll just finish that bit. <laughs> yeah, and it keeps yeah, keeps going on and on and I find myself there longer than I anticipated. But it's all good. Better than watching rubbish on TV. Yeah, that was last night where Louise was like, I think I'll do an hour. I'll make myself a hot chocolate mm. and listen to the radio and do some diamond painting. And so I said, you're going to be there for more than an hour then. <laughs> You'll get into it because on a lunchtime, we only have 15, 20 minutes. And so because we're on a bit of a time limit, it's not as relaxing as it could be. So you found it a lot more relaxing last night? Yeah, I did, and it was really nice. I'd had my shower, I'd had got my onesie on, mm -hmm. hot chocolate, a couple of little uh, chocolate hobnobs as well, and just sat there, and the dog sat there <laughs> staring at me. Um, I did a, a bit before I put my son to bed, and he actually was really interested in what I was doing and wanted to, he kept touching it, and he wanted to have a go, so he placed a few of the diamonds, and he had, he was actually spot on. I was a bit worried, and I was like, oh, don't, don't ruin it, but no, he was spot on, and he asked to do some more, so he did some with me, and then after bedtime, that's when I got cosied up. Yeah. With my cup of hot chocolate and my biscuits. and Yeah, because yeah. he wasn't allowed hot chocolate and biscuits. Oh, no. No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> and how old is he? He's eight. Yeah, so nice age, and... Um, I said to Louise, perhaps she could think about getting him a little stocking filler diamond painting um, because on Amazon, as we know, they are very reasonable budget buys. So it could be something that you think about or doing it together is so lovely. Yeah, no, it was quite cute, actually, that he wanted to, to help and have a go. And he was pretty accurate, actually. So mm. maybe I give him one of the spare tools and he could do one side, I yeah. could do the other. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice idea. It would be interesting if he lost interest once he'd done a little bit or whether he would keep going with yeah, it. Yeah, that would be because his attention span can... Well, yeah, he's, he's, eight, he's an eight-year-old boy. Yeah, the attention quite span, active. Yeah, isn't quite there. He's, <laughs> he does flip from one thing to the other. Um, and he loves dancing, so he could do a little, you know, celebration dance when he's finished a section. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And he loves listening to music, so I think I think it was more because I've sat listening to the radio, and he likes asking Alexa to play different songs. So you know, he quite liked it that I was sat yeah. in there. Because I'm usually usually uh, vacate the kitchen after uh, tea time and head for the living room, but no, it was quite nice sitting in there for a bit. The dog, yeah, well, the dog right? thought it was a bit odd, just kept staring at me. Why are you sat there? What are you doing? <laughs> Talking about sections, by the way, I did bring in some release papers, as you probably saw from the diamond painting I'm doing. And so I checked in with Louise to see how she felt about putting some release papers on this second half of the diamond painting. And we sort of had a little chat, didn't we? And yeah. discussed it. Yeah, I, I just kind of, I'm in, I'm a bit of a flitter. <laughs> I like to go from one bit to another, or if I'm doing a colour here and I've got the same letter over here, I like to flit across and then, yeah, so I don't know if it's a very good method that I'm using, but it's kind of, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And yeah, so we decided yeah, it didn't not really to work for me. On. Yeah. But you never know, might try it another time. <laughs> Yeah, no. if I did another one, I'd try a different method to compare the two, but I feel like now that I'm doing it this way for this one, I'm just going to carry on. Yeah. I'm quite happy with the progress. I feel like I'm almost at, like, two-thirds done. Yeah. And, yeah, I've, I'm going to take it home again tonight and have another couple of hours on it. Oh, it's grown. It's gone from one hour to two hours. Well, did well you no. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that'll grow as well, because I said oh, I'll maybe do an hour last night, and that was, like, two and a half hours later, so... We'll see, we'll see. Obviously, I've got a few jobs to do at home. Can't let the housework, you know, go to go to pot. Housework's most work. Yeah. 
so um we'll see but yeah i'll probably spend a couple of hours get the radio on i'm not gonna have hot chocolate again though because i made and i had an accident with it last night and it's kind of put me off a little bit yeah well, you have to explain what the accident is now. We can't leave people hanging and okay. wondering. <laughs> um, yeah, so when I make hot chocolate, I use like cocoa powder and then put the cocoa powder, a couple of scoops into the mug, top it up with milk and vigorously stir it. And then obviously I need to put some sugar in because it's not, it's quite bitter because it's proper cocoa powder. There's no sugar or sweeteners in it. So because my spoon was caked in milk and cocoa powder, I thought I'd just pour it from the bag. So I went to gently pour it and I poured in a bit too much than I anticipated. I just thought, oh, sod it, it'll be fine. Stirred it all in. And then what I do is I just whack it in the microwave for a minute, give it another stir frantically put it back in front of a minute and then hey presto normally i have a lovely hot chocolate but this one was really sweet because there was so much sugar in it and that's maybe what kept me going and i was buzzing and i was wide awake <laughs> yeah. i was wide awake at five o'clock this connection. morning as well were you yeah yeah know. and i couldn't get back to sleep and i think it's down and done some more i could have done some more i think it's just down to the excess of the amounts of sugar plus i had my two chocolate hobnobs as well yeah and you're talking quite quickly today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I need to, like, calm down on the sugar intake, really. I'll ask you tomorrow whether you had a hot chocolate. I have a feeling you might have another one. I might go for a peppermint tea tonight. Oh, that's a lot healthier. Yeah, go for a peppermint tea. Or maybe a glass of wine. <gasps> How does alcohol oh. mix with diamond painting? Or is that just a... No, I've never, ever done it. I talk about alcohol quite a lot, but I've never <laughs> drunk and painted. Right. Okay, Ooh. maybe that's Yeah, maybe to try. it's an experiment, and then you can let me know how it goes. I feel like I've had alcohol right now, because it's just not quite working in my multi-placing. <laughs> it's as soon as you turn the camera on. I know. Yeah. So there we are. We've caught up with Louise. I don't know if, because obviously now taking it home and working for it on hours on end all night through the night whether we'll have another catch up with Louise before she finishes it but I will if we can in the meantime enjoy your own diamond painting take care everyone bye bye okay yeah I'm just making sure the wobble stops <laughs> did I say it was going to be quiet it wasn't this bad before was it no it's really annoying. Right. Well, them talking in there. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna have to talk over them. No one will be able to hear what I'm saying. I'm sure. <laughs>